So if you're watching this now, you'll see, and I'll show you, uh, a picture of my garage before I started this weekend. There you go, you can see it, spent hours, lovely and tidy, even added a new worktop bench. The whole nine yards really went to town on it, clean, organised and everything. Then John came round and we got to work <laughs> and now it looks like this. So, as you can see, there's uh, what looks like a bomb site. I think I used every single tool going. So, welcome to part four of the blog. Um, a lot of work done, uh, like I promised. Um, you can first thing you see is the uh, no under tray on the car at all. Um, so, we're down to the, uh, the almost the bare chassis now. But we've uh, actually done some fabricating. Um, and I have a confession to make actually, so let me first show you what's been gone on. So, that just take me make off. All that's been removed, and as you can see there, um, hopefully it's in focus. Uh, I'm speaking of which, I'm back on the uh, phone, because uh, the, uh, the wife has taken their cameras to do some work, who'd have thought it. Uh, yeah, so, all that was cut away and um, re-welded, um, all done, sorted, uh, adjusted the engine mounts uh, and the engine cradle to fit as well and we've added the, um, the seat mounts, if we can put that in focus there. Um, they've been added and completely custom fabricated out of just sheet metal, 3mm thick sheet metal. So absolutely uh, all sorted on that. As I said, took that off. Um, the good news for me, and, and, this, and this may go for a few of you as well, actually. Um, standard on these carts is for the gear shift to be um, up gears, down gears. Up gears, down gears. That's completely different to how I'm used to in a car. I like it. Change up a gear, pull back, down a gear, go forward. Uh, and when I test drove one of these carts, the first thing I did is the whole, uh, so I'm in a car I've never driven before, with an engine type I've never driven before, on a circuit I've never driven before, in someone else's car, and I'm thinking, Ron, whatever you do, do not blow the engine up. Hence the, um, the reason for taking it very, very cautiously and consciously making a decision. Forward is up, forward is up, forward is up. Uh, I don't want that, I want to pull back. Uh, so what we have got uh, is we've got a, uh, a shorter lever coming and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees and then we're going to have a bar coming off here going across with the, uh, the linkage on and we're going to adjust the ratios to make the, um, to make the leverage correct and, um, and get a good, a, good, uh, a good shift system going. Um, so, so that's where we're going to be. Um, and yeah, it's been a very another very very productive uh, productive weekend, or certainly a Saturday anyway. So we are very much uh, moseying on and uh, really getting some stuff done. So what I did want to say is I know I talked about in my first video, um, as I was fall over there. Uh, I know I talked about in my first video how there wasn't much to this um, and how. You know, you, you wouldn't need to be technically that technically minded. I take that back. Um, I am lucky enough to have, or I mean, let, let's just have a look at the bench. So remember, you saw, you know, before, uh, let's have a look at what's been out. So we've got carbs in bits, we've got drills, we've got vices with soft jaws, we've got uh, verniers, we've got automatic, you know, uh, power tools, auto ratchets, mole grips, drills, wire brushes, boxes, carb cleaner, um, boxes of long reach Allen keys, um, grinder drill bits, um, impact drivers, electronic you know, or power impact drivers, uh, welding mask, bench grinders there, grinder with multiple different discs, uh, MIG, uh, welder. These are the stuff that I used 
uh, that we both used, John and I, um, during the um, the work that we did uh, yesterday on Saturday. And we had to use it all. We had to create the brackets from scratch. We had to measure. We had to cut. We had to be accurate. I, I'm taking it back. So this is what I'm going to say. If you want to enter the series, then yeah, sure. You can you can do an arrive and drive. You can pay someone to do it. And you know you can have you can have deep pockets and they can sort it all out for you. There's nothing stopping you doing that. But understand that if you know if you want to get the most out of this, then you need to have you need to have that background of or, or know someone that does uh, have that background of being able to to get on spanners, to get on the fabrication tools, to understand how to chop, how to cut, how to drill, how to weld, how to measure. Um, I mean, these may sound like simple things to you. You may turn around and go, Ron, what are you on about? I, this is nothing to me. And if it isn't, then then you're ready. But that's the that's where you need to be. And if you're not, then then there's going to be there's going to be a, a bit of a struggle for you. Because um, I very much thought, you know, if you could do Meccano, then that's uh, initially where it started. If you can do Meccano, then you can do you can build the car. And in some aspects, you can. But even for example, even taking the under tray off. The old under tray there and I'll mention a bit about the other stuff in a minute so even taking the under tray off was a hassle because all the bolts where they hit curbs and past were ground down and so that's another thing you have to get off you know you have to understand how to get off bolts with um, no heads up you know if you've never done that before you can be like well where do I start what do I do so that that is genuinely where we are uh, where we've been and it's a one piece of advice I want to give you from this video is make sure you've got the appropriate skills to to do this um, and if you haven't know someone who has or if you don't know someone who has have deeper pockets I, I truly believe that budgetary wise if I couldn't do the fabrication and the 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 spannering and have the knowledge of engineering that I do have um, that it would cost over twice as much. I, I truly believe that. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I didn't have John help me as well and being a foreman, he would enjoy being that. Um, then, it, it, I, you know, there'd be a, an additional cost outlay for myself because while I have fabricated, uh, I'll, you know, most of the things on here, John was able to tell me where things mounted, how they mounted and what fabricated where. So then that's important. So, you know, again, couldn't, done it, couldn't have done it without it. But yeah, just before I close off, I will go back to the under tray. So the under tray is off, uh, if we can see it there. That's the old under tray. Uh, and we have the dive bomb that I talked about. So there it is, um, three mil thick, um, uh, aluminium polyurethane composite. And that's gonna be the new under tray, exactly as that one is. So I was looking at, um, we go back to the cart again. I was looking at um, filling in these portions here in some sort of quasi attempt to get ground effect um, but for now we're just going to take the original pattern the axe on the floor there we're going to take the original pattern and we're just going to use that and uh, and see how we get on I think I think the die bond's going to be very good I think it'll be very effective and it'll me it be a good a good floor pan um, I'm, I'm hoping it's uh, it, it you know it, it's positive over the um, the fiberglass, the original fiberglass that was on it. So there we go, a lot done. Still more to go, still plenty more to go. I mean, it kind of looks as if we've gone backwards, especially compared to last week. But, you know, I, I'm I'm much more confident in what I need to do and where I need to go um, with with building it now. Um, you know, I, as I say, so it looks like we've gone backwards, but definitely not. Um, more parts ordered, more parts coming. Um, I, I really do think we're um, we've we've turned a corner now, and and once all the fabrication's done, I've had John's blessing to take the chassis away and go and get it coated, uh, or certainly get it blasted, and then um, go and get it painted. Um, so why not? I tell you what, why not? I mean, I, I I've got an idea of what colour I want it to be. However, I'm open to suggestions. 
So please feel free to comment. Let me know what you think the colour should be in the car. Um, and, you know, we can we can possibly make some mock-ups. I've got a, a very good friend who, uh, who I've been helping today with his car, actually, and he's a graphic designer. So he'll be able to come up with something, um, hopefully, for us and, and do some mock-ups of the car. I'm sure it'll be uh, quite funny with me being on fire or something along the line. So I'm uh, quite humorous to that. But, yeah, yeah. So let us know in the comments. Anything else you want to see, you want to, you want me to do, please please do let me know and we'll try and cover them. But for this week, that's all for now. Thanks very much. See you later.